Hello, my name is Hannah, and today we're building a container home in Evergreen Harbor, and I'm not gonna lie, had to Google what the world was called. I tried recording this voiceover, like, the first 20 seconds of it, um, like, right before this, but I forgot the name of the world, so I was like, nope, we're gonna Google that. I tried to just play it off, like, eh, we'll just move on from that, but no, it was horrible. Just, it was really, really horrible. But I did Google it, we figured it out. I swear this happens all of the time, it's really, really bad. I, I play The Sims, like, daily, and I write all of my descriptions with that, like, the world name in the description, and I still don't remember. I don't know how this happens, but it happens, like, every single time I build out of, like, not the, like, three main worlds. I just cannot remember. I, I don't know why, but I do. Um, this build was originally not supposed to be, like, a, like, a nice container home. I'm not sure what, a, like, a nice container home is, like, but, like, this is a fancy, like, modernized one. And it's, like, it's got a bunch of, like, metal touches, because, you know, it is a container home, but it is also, like, very modern on the inside. Once you see that, it's, it's very modern. But it's still got some, like, industrial touches to it, because it is in Evergreen Harbor, and it is a container home. So it's kind of hard to get away from that when you're building with a bunch of metal boxes. But originally, I was trying to make it, like, a run-down like container home like someone's been like living in there they made it all themselves kind of thing because one if you look in the area around it i didn't change anything to build this so like if you wanted to make it modern or anything but there's like trash and everywhere um and also this is like right next to like a bunch of just like places that are like run down like i think the train station's like next to this or my areas might be really off but like a bunch of rundown stuff around this and then a bunch of big rustic industrial stuff everywhere but i was gonna make it that but then when i started like actually building like the inside i just didn't want to build that so i was like okay we building it fancy now and so it kind of in a weird location for a like fancy container home but um uh, it's a container home so it's not that fancy but i still think it looks fun I'm assuming, like, the land was probably, like, cheap and then build, like, a fancy thing there. Kind of, like, imagine, like, that kind of scenario is what happened here. But there's, like, a bunch of bedrooms. I don't exactly remember how many. I think there's, like, three, which isn't actually that many. There may be four, but it's a very weird layout. So in this, like, container is the kitchen and, like, that's it. But if you go to the other one on the, like, base floor it is a I think it's just two bedrooms and like the hallway with the staircase going up I was originally going to put the living room in that one but then the upstairs is on like a diagonal so it was um really horrible to like work with so I put the living room up there and then a bathroom I think so I think all of the bedrooms are on this like main floor like the base like on the ground they're on the ground <laughs> and so um I think that's how, but you have to walk a long ways to get to the living room, and I don't think there's a dining room. I don't think I built one unless, well, there's one outside, but, like, there's not one inside, but, you know, it's fine. You'll be okay, but it's a long walk to get to the living room, but you'll be okay. The bedrooms are kind of close to the kitchen, which is kind of convenient because you go to those places a lot, or at least I do, um, so it'll be fine. And then there's bathrooms in both the, like, downstairs in the bedroom area and upstairs where the living room is, so it's fine. I also built the entire kitchen without, like, having lights in it, so it's probably a little bit strange and dark when I build that, but that's fine. I put lights in it eventually. There's lights at this point when I'm talking, but I just was talking over that, so, you know, moving past that. But that's about it for, like, the container house. So we're going to move on to things that I'm talking about today. This is going to be, like, a continuation of yesterday's voiceover, but I'm going to do, like, a recap just because if you don't want to watch that video, I don't care. But yesterday, or not yesterday, the other day when I posted the voiceover, the voiceover is me talking about how I puked at the pre-ACT. So, you know, this is going to be, like, aftermath of, like, that stuff. So just context. But... After I got home from being in the nurse's office for an hour, I was horrible um, before I puked. And then after I felt fine, like the entire time I was in the nurse's office, I was like, oh, I'm okay now. And I was a little concerned because why? Because I'd had a stomach ache for almost like two, two and a half hours at that point. So I was like, um, 
that's a little funky because I felt immediately better, but I had felt horrible the rest of the day, so I was a little bit weirded out. But then I got home, spent like 30 minutes, and then I got bad again, and my stomach felt horrible again, so I was like, huh, that's a fun cycle right there. And I continued that cycle four times after I got home because I, I puked three times at school and four times at home. So uh, this is a very fun voiceover if you don't like the word puked. Um, sorry about that. But it was a really, really fun pre-ACT day if you can ever imagine that. But Thursday was really horrible for me. It is Saturday morning um, at the time of me filming this not the time that you're seeing this because I don't ever film on the same day, but but I do feel better. Didn't puke all of Friday, which is good, and I haven't puked today, knock on some wood over here, but I do have a stomach ache and I felt dizzy and like kind of like nauseous all of yesterday, so that's really fun, but I have a stomach ache right now. Um, I didn't have one earlier, but um, I've also eaten since then, and I had my first real meal last night and because um, I ate breakfast the morning of the pre-ACT, and then the rest of that day, all I ate was five crackers because eating was painful, which eating my breakfast that morning was also painful. I don't, no clue, but like putting food in my mouth and then swallowing was not fun, um, so we'll see, but I literally ate five crackers that day because I technically didn't eat my breakfast, if that makes any sense. But, so I ate five crackers that day, and then Friday, I ate toast, and then I had soup, but the soup was basically just broth and lentils, which I like lentil soup, so it wasn't a bad thing, but it was just broth and lentils, and then toast, a singular piece of toast with some peanut butter on it. But then I had soup with a sandwich last night, and that was really good. I cannot describe having actual food after having like soup and toast and crackers for like almost two days. It, it tastes like gr the greatest food you've ever had. I don't know if anybody can relate to that, but it, it was so great. I loved last night's food. It was great. I've had this food before, like several times before, but it just feels so much better when you've never had, when or when you've had like basically only fake food, like sick food for like two days so I was very happy last night and then I also had orange juice last night and um, I had been wanting orange juice for a bit however I had just been drinking water and drinking just water for that long I was just like water just tastes wrong now so I had orange juice last night and then I had orange juice for breakfast and so that's fun and it went all good so that's good because I was worried that I was gonna like you know have an issue because it's like acidic or whatever juice really funky but didn't so that's good but moving on to like the future things because that haven't happened yet I miss Friday because also wasn't feeling good and also Thursday was just that horrible I was just like not going to school after that but I missed five tests on Friday and I was very not looking forward to that one um because I now have to make up five tests. However, the f there were three tests in a singular class, if that makes sense. I didn't have five periods of tests. I had one in chemistry, one in French, and three in world history, which is really fun right there. But I now have to go make those up. I think I have a date for my French one, um, but my chemistry teacher is the sub that I've talked about, doesn't do electronics, and I don't have his email. So I am just going to have to go into class on Monday and be like, hey, when do you want to reschedule? And um, he has some issues with like tests um, because he lost one of my friends' like retakes. And then he also, um, he lost some girl that was gone's actual test. So I'm a little concerned with that, but we'll see. Probably talk about that again in the future if, you know, he does actually find my um, test if after I do it, but we'll see. But I have a test over um, the movie that we watched last week in French. Well, it's, it's like a quiz, not a test, but same thing. But I'm kind of nervous about that um, because talking about movies or like things that I've watched is really um, bad because I just like don't know what happens in the entire thing. But we'll see. But also my world history things 
Um, three, t three tests is really, really fun right there. I think it'll be fine because two of them won't take, like, 20 minutes total together. Um, the other one I'm a bit concerned about how long it's gonna take because I have to do it either before or after school. I'm gonna try before school. We'll see if it works or not. But that's, like, about it for, um, pre-ACT day. I will be talking about a new thing next video if you want to hear something different because that is all I have. But... It is almost screenshots time, so I'm going to stop talking right here, but subscribe if you did like today's video, if you want to see more like this or more different than this, but I do post four videos a week, so you can watch another video tomorrow. Bye!